Hey, Main Baron 68 here. I uh, just wanted to let y'all know that we're about to bring a semi-trailer to the, to the homestead and I uh, have to do some work to it. So um, I think you're going to be moderately amused. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned and uh, see what we got going on here. semi-trailer for storage uh, we brought it here to the homestead and we have to do some work to it uh, get it ready to take it over to my son's home place and then we're gonna be dropping it down and setting it on the ground taking the axles out from under it and making a, a barn our storage barn out of it it's a 53 foot trailer so I hope you're uh, I hope you're interested in this kind of thing the uh, to, to learn the can-do spirit uh, we shouldn't let anything stop us if there's something you need or something you want uh, uh there's ways to figure out how to make things work so check this video out and um rate comment down below just you know say hi nothing else let me know you enjoyed the video so if you would stay tuned take it easy and bring 68little dolly has served me well through the years believe it or not I pulled my fifth wheel travel trailer with that dolly now we brought it in here close to the welder <laughs> so we're gonna work on that you cut the back out of the trailer and uh, fix the doors but I just wanted to bring you guys along and let you see the madness that power line just is cover, uh, clearing. All right, is parked. This thing looks a lot bigger here than it did over there. Well, what do you think? This is, uh, I won't say it's the first time we ever did anything like this, but it's certainly, um, I don't know, first time we've done this with the tractor. I pulled this trailer here with my flatbed truck and the flatbed overhung too far and caused damage. You see that damage right there? My flatbed did that. Same way on the other side, right there. So, 
we disconnected it from the flatbed and hooked it up to a pickup. Well, the trailer got hung up on a stump and my wife was helping me and I was on the back side of the trailer with the truck, the big truck pulling. My wife was on the front of the truck with the pickup and she backed up. Bang, bang, bang. She backed up and commenced to altering the tailgate on my pickup. So I had to get a new tailgate. Anyway, um, just thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, I know we're a little bit crazy, but this is just another one of those things. This this channel is kind of a theme. It lets you know that have a can-do attitude. You can make things happen. We didn't have a semi-tractor. The guy we got this tra trailer from, I wished I'd have recorded it, pulling it out from behind his house. Uh, I didn't have a camera, and then it just dawned on me. Um, might not be a great video, and I apologize because I recorded this on my phone, but I said, you know what, for better or for worse, at least I could bring you all along for whatever it was. Um, I didn't have my tripod. I didn't have my other camera. Uh, I didn't have, uh, you know, nothing. I just had my phone. I thought, what, the last little bit, last quarter of a mile or so, I thought, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and record this and bring, bring you guys along. But anyway, it's here, and we're going to start working on it. I'll bring you up to date on some videos later. We got this trailer. It's a damaged or wrecked trailer. It was on the road every day. The guy that owned it before um, had an accident. It was some bad weather, whatever. Another semi hit him in the back end and damaged the back of the trailer really bad, so much so that it made it, you know, not roadworthy. So we're going to fix it. We're actually going to make it a storage trailer, cut all the bin out, and rebuild that in the back. and build some barn doors, uh, frame it all out and build some barn doors for a good storage trailer. Probably drop the uh, dolly of the axles out from under it and set it on the ground. Uh, that's gonna be interesting because I don't have the tools that I used to have. I used to have a big loader with forks and all. I could pick up the whole trailer with my, with my loader that I used to have and pull the dolly out from under it and set it on the ground. But I don't have those kind of tools anymore. This is what we got. And with a can-do attitude, you can make a lot of things happen. So I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride for this little little journey that we went through. And I um, hope you learned something. The main thing to learn here is you can do just about anything you need to do if you just set your mind to it and have a can-do attitude. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the ride. This is Main, main Bearing 68 signing off. Uh, rate, subscribe, and uh, there'll be more videos coming. God bless.